Hello my dudes and welcome back to Nigeria. We're gonna load in and get back to building our industry. We need a lot of industry. Yes, yes we do. We also need the world tension to go down for a bit, so I'm going to try and be at peace for a bit. Just a little bit. No national focus set. Whoa, what have they done to the game? What have they done to the game? What? They've updated the entire tree. Oh, Kidok. Is everything else still in line where it should be? It appears that way. Right. So. It appears the game is uh, in a bit of a weird place. So, I've basically got the opportunity now to, you know, go through a load of new ideas. <laughs> yeah! I also got my previous leader. Oh, yes, good man. Okay. Do we need any political efforts? That's still growing. Yeah! Resource gain, focus. Industrial developments. Hmm. Well, that's where we want it to be. Oh, but we do have like random ones, like the education reform here. We have expand the secret surface decryption plus uh, service decryption plus one. Yeah. So we go to minus five. Recruit more diplomats. International alliances. Can create for oh, so I need to go down that again now. Ah. Okay, let's get towards that. We'll go down the political focus and try to get there. Okay. So. How do we do, my dudes? All training. Good stuff. So have these three fellows need divisions in their name. We've got one uh, armor brigade. Could use another. But not yet. Not yet. Later, my dude. Later. I'm going to want an entire airborne division as well at some point. I've never used airborne in games because it was just ridiculously overpowered. But I want to have a go of it this time to try things like invading nations across the sea and such. Wow. <laughs> they just changed the game. Okie dokie. Do you have any resources, Gunner? You have fuck all. You have a lot of people, but it's not really what I'm after here, is it? Yeah. I think we want to go east. This is where all the people are. You can take over this entire area here and then have maybe a southern puppet to give us loads of manpower. Maybe. Perhaps. Maybe, perhaps. Next place to go down into will be Congo, obviously, because uh, all the resources here are just going to be so, so great. So great. Our Air Force doing their jobs. Yep, we're over in the Congo, we're over the Central Africa. That's good. Navy's obviously doing their job. Is it a big navy? Yes, it is. Lovely. Future machine tools. Good stuff. 
Now let's just keep up with whatever we can over here when we get the ability, which we currently don't. Engineering, we are already doing this very good. Encryption, decryption, we want to get through those things at some point. Knowing what your enemies are up to is obviously a good thing. Now, what am I trying to do with these? Get them stronger. That's what I'm trying to do. Which we are going to want a paratroop division. It seems I'm going to have to start from the beginning with these. Because you can't just start an empty one. Which is quite annoying. What about a uh, coastal fort on along the coast? Uh, just keep people out of the way. Just in case, you know. We might try to take over the coast. Can't have that. No way. We need to steal again. We're building things that fast. Oh, that's good. I guess more naval dockyards are pouring out, which is creating us a lot of submarines. Apparently we have low manpower. Ha 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 ha! Ah, yes. Main battle tanks, do need a few of them. But they will start to build up very fast, I think, because we're doing one a day. One a day. I want to see when that goes down to 34. Okay, then. So this is going down relatively fast, but Congo is going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. But we'll, uh, we'll have a go. When we have 47, uh, I mean, whatever political power it's just required. When we have that, we'll give it a go going after there. 18 strategic bombers and 25 uh, fighters. Let's get them in the air. 18 multi-rolls. Let's have a to them. Yeah, we'll have you guys, and we'll have uh, Gen Bombers get all of you over somewhere. But where? I reckon Congo is the place to go. That's where we're about to be turning up after all. So we'll just get them to do what they do. Very good. Get the Air Force out. Lovely. Now, are these guys alone going to be enough? Just a few vehicles, raise, uh, ro uh, driving through if I can get my fucking words out. What are those motorized? What do they actually take? It's just motorized with some uh, support equipment. Two, three, four. How much equipment do we require? Lots of motorized. Lots of motorized, but I will eventually want them. So we'll just uh, get them to go out and then they can join this man at their leisure. There you go. Yeah, they could be enough to storm into there. They have a lot of population there. They could create a big army. They already do. I'm not going to take them over 20 divisions, am I? Need another army on that border. What do you lack? Inventory equipment. Are you sure? Yes, yes you are, sure. Yeah, well, I'm going to want this at some point anyway, so I'll just get up to 24 to wait. Get those men waiting, I mean, learning, whatever, yes. Um, what else do we want? We're just going to make them better. Now, it would be smart to have an infantry division on that border. So... We could get you to have a front line here. Which can be told to take over through the Congo, like so. We can then get your entire division onto it. And then once they're done, they'll simply just return home to the other border. That will just make life a lot easier for those people attacking into that region. So, you, just by war gold, we want to conquer. Conquer that. Yes. So it'll take a very long time to get in that position, but when it happens, uh, yeah, we'll have a bit of fun, won't we? 
we are using lots of our factories now. So we've got three fifteens going, which is very fast, obviously. Right, we'll actually have spares. More air force, more other things. We won't want, we won't want a lot of uh, motorized, but guns. We definitely need more guns. So they're not as bad. They're not as bad. Bad thing to use guns. So we'll put you onto a full list when we uh, get the factories for it. There should be five factories, I think. Have we actually maxed out our land? Yes. We need to invade other people, of course. No one is this superior enemy, large river crossing, the the division, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he reckons he'd smash it. I reckon we would smash it. It'd be a lot harder of a war because they actually have an army. But our army's not bad, is it? You know, they're still getting over there. And we always have all these other reserves on the other flanks, ready and waiting to appear. It's fine, it's fine. That's political focus, though, would be very much appreciated. Any factories do you have, my man? You're not that many. I mean, it does have a lot, but not that many compared to me. Foreign policy... Where did we want to go? International alliances, yes. So we'll just uh, storm down this way. Is it at some point going to be worth... No, we get a thousand recruitable men per month. And it is at 0 0.5. If we had 1.5%, we'd have millions more men, I'm sure of it. Yeah. Our total population is 130 million, it looks like. That's a lot of dudes. Is there a little uh, non-core population available? Ah, I see. We get 0.067 of the non-core population, which is another 83 million people. So we've got a total population of 210 million, but only... Not all of them get the maximum treatment. Which is why you want to have vassals underneath you, but I think the vassal Asian will be going for the, uh, the southern nations. Might even be able to take them all over and just get a whole load of men out of all of them. Ready to rumble! Yes, get their manpower on the move. But the world tension does go down uh, pretty fast. We probably can unite Africa before going on a mad one. But my idea is India. Because they would make a great puppet with all of that manpower. If we were able to invade India. Oh. Just imagine it. Invading the Indians. They have to do a massive invasion. The thing is, they don't even have that many ports. But we could create ports fast enough if we did land in, say, the south and try to take over. Let's go through India. <laughs> India will be our bro. India, my dude. Yes. We'll make puppet nations in there. We also want to go in this direction. I think Chile would be the best man to take over here because Chile is obviously the master race. The master race of South America. Ah, the Chileans. Very good. No, no, but the uh, first thing is to take over these lands in our name. You get me. Do you get me, my dude? There needs to be a way to get through these a lot faster. Besides becoming um, Islamic. I don't want to do that. Oh, the amount of manpower. I'm going to do it because I do want loads more soldiers, obviously. Can we force them out onto the front line? No. That would be silly. They don't have nearly... Half of their equipment. Don't be silly, you fool. Get 
drain naturally. All these extra planes and bombers everywhere. Attack aircraft? Where did these come from? Like, seriously, these random planes just come out of nowhere. Oh, these guys are all loving it. They're all ready to rumble, these lots. The usual guys are still two stripes. Not every Mikhail's are two stripes. That's not good. Not good at all, my dude. Not good. Oh, these guys are going to get wrecked. They know it. They know it and we know it. He might have maybe 50 divisions, but we're still going to smash him. He doesn't have the uh, military capacity that we do. He's going to get smashed. Right, let's have a look. What do we got? Yep. I know I have low manpower, but not for long. We're going to pass a law. Now we're going to have... 1.38 million men, and that's only 1%. It's only 1%. We have lots of dudes. Lots of dudes. The Ugandan stays. Really? Nationalists. Ooh. Somalia needs to go. There's a reason they don't have nearly half as much population as the bordering nations. It's because they're always shooting each other. Look, between what we got, 8 million people. Look, just here, there's 47 million. 50 there. Those guys are 36. Look, just there, 15 million. The Somalians just keep shooting each other. Not only that, but the Somalians don't even live in Somalia. Fucking Somalians everywhere. All over Sweden and Finland and fucking UK, all over the US. All around this area, aren't they? Somalians. Dude, Somalians don't want Somalia to prosper, they just want to fuck off. Right, let's get these extra. Oh, that's why uh, all my guns disappeared. We put extra troops into these, didn't we? I see. Well, there you go. You're held back even more, my dudes. Even more. <laughs> and then we've got hundreds of tanks and vehicles stored up now. That's good. That's what we want. Lots of vehicles. All ready to ramble. Uh, there's a lot of required guns, though. Lots of required guns. Huh. We are building the factories. We have one more factory required for the current level. So we're building several. Alright, foreign policy, and then we're going to want an international alliances to create factions. Yes. Angola. Angola will be after the Congo, and how much head start do we have on the Congo? Quite a bit. Let's justify on these fellows. Yes. 600 days. What is it? No, it's 300. Why? Why so long? Why so long, I say? Yeah, everywhere under this line gets to live. Maybe even Malawi as well. Everyone under this area here gets to live. How about that? Maybe not Madagascar. They have a lot of resources. Yeah, is there many resources in this area that I'm proposing on leaving? Yes, that's where all of the resources are. South Africa, fuck. But if they're puppets, I can trade them for free anyway. Look at them all. Loads of it. But if I take over these these three, that's like loads. Now I take over all these guys over here as well. 
uh, these ones down here won't be as much of a miss. But I'll do for this episode. Thank you for watching. I do look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye-bye.